Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on to this video today. Keen Order Toten. Is it the next zombies map? Is it gonna be bigger than before? What is happening? How, why are there so many remakes? There's so much to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. But ladies and gentlemen, we got the homie Mr. Dalek JD. I know he's been in some controversy, but he's got the info. He's got the drip. He's got the news. We gotta listen to him out. Hear from the boy. I always believe in second chances, ladies and gentlemen. But ladies, let's get into it, baby. Let's What's get into going, it. Guys, Mr. Dalek JD here. And I know you've clicked on this video, you've read the title, and you're going, what the hell yeah, is this? What is There's going no on, Mr. Dalek JD? It's being remade as a Cold War zombie zombie. But by the end of this video, Mr. I will Dali guarantee JD. you that this is happening. And you'll be shocked at how obvious Treyarch have teased this. So trust me, guys, it's well worth watching this video all the way Dude, through. Where is the key to be blown? blown. Just before where we jump into that sellout tone? Dalek here, just to remind you that my code is 30% <laughs> off everything. Mr. Dalek until the seventh. So if you Mr. Dalek JD, for Christmas, check out the link below. How now, much G fuel can you pump in your veins? DLC Give me the number down Vietnam. in the comments below. That's not gone anywhere. Today we're talking about a separate DLC map to that, and it's a map that's going to be set in Berlin. Now Berlin. I know I'm not the first person to Berlin. come to this topic, but I didn't Berlin. want to the zombies DLC locations so soon it's after the, the game coming out. With Vietnam discussions a few days ago and season one only a week away, I thought this was a great time. Now this is the part where the penny is going to drop and it's going to secure any doubts you had in your mind about Kino being a location that we'll see. As when we go to the main menu of Cold War Zombies and go to our crypt Wait, John. Creator class. What the fuck we can are you see doing, the creator class menu includes <laughs> this joking. very strange computer. Yeah, so this is what I brought up location. in one of my recent now, Treyarch videos. Being Treyarch, haven't just included this location as just a random But they put detail. a this dot in there, homie. They put a dot. Us to notice. And I certainly couldn't make it out, but thanks to Eric Maynard and one unknown player on Twitter, they were able to pinpoint exactly where this was, and in particular the red dot that Treyarch have left on this map. So yeah, I don't see no red dot on this screen. Map showing oh, Berlin, there it is. but there a very is. specific part of Berlin. It's the so Kino, it's Kino to tell in. And then go to Street View, you see one very suspicious looking tower. This tower is called the Berliner <laughs> The Berliner And this exact tower can be seen outside the map on Kino de Toten. Look at that boy, Disco tower. Ball this looking. This is no joke. Yep. This has always existed Look at that since boy. Black Ops 1. It's yeah, it's there been there since, remaster since as well. One. And yep. it is 100% the exact same tower. Treyarch it's wouldn't put cool. a computer screen showing the exact location of this tower in the zombies Kino is menu coming, boys. if we weren't going to I'm see excited. it in Cold War Zombies. I, love, this exact I think tower everyone's going to be excited for Kino. Kino to man. Putting two and two together, we are one million percent going to see a Berlin zombies map that will contain Kino Give me de a Kino de Toten water park that map. That's what I want, bro. Exactly on that Hit me with that. Part I want to go right near that water tower. cycle. So with that being said, and it being nearly guaranteed we're going to see Kino de Toten, how exactly are we going to see it? Well, we don't know this answer for sure, but we're we can speculate. See it. And give with a water slides. Come on, a bring water slides. Which will contain Kino de Toten, just like how we've seen with D Machina containing the entirety of Nakda and Toten, but not being yeah. entirely based Home around in it. Germany. If you go out of bounds on Kino de Toten in Black Ops 3 and look at the tower, you can see that it's behind some buildings that are along a main busy street where we can see vehicles, we can see buildings. That is true. And it's very likely that we're going that to be seeing true. something similar as the oh. main zombies map premise. Wow. Wow, so this is how it's going to continue out. What if this is the big city zombies map? What if they combine Transit and Kino de Toten? What if the homies from where I live, the 250, come through, dude? It's yes, sir, bro. Let's go. Of this section of More Berlin, city? Which is going to contain perhaps multiple Shadows of Evil, Transit, and, and Kino is going to be combining an all the theater, first maps of Call of Duty Zombies. That way, they're keeping in the theme with Dear Machina where it's. And then they called the map the one. Oh, bro. I'm getting way too excited, bro. <laughs> Shadows of Evil before, Transit and dude, yeah, this map has D Machine has Nocturne Toten. The next map is gonna have Kino, 
Transit, Shadows of Evil, and then they forgot about BO4 because there's no starting map in that game. Let's Ooh, go, bro. Or they, they put the Voyage like, of Despair like, like way out in the distance. <laughs> really think about it anymore now along with this teaser Bro, in the menu, yes. we also have intel yes. from onslaught that talks about a zombies I outbreak occurring in a I kgb facility near berlin now just before we go into that berlin. i also want to talk about some of the berlin. other moments that cold war has been in berlin there's one particular campaign mission called brick in the wall which takes place in east berlin oh of this they have a lot of it dude it looks like kino already around, outside the map unlike call of duty wow. normally has done water walk around water and slides and enter into a busy bar now, I water don't know if this will have any reflection on what this berlin zombies map might look like or entail bro okay also this is the mission where they introduce the gobble gum model are microtransactions coming when kino does IDK homies. But it's super IDK. cool to see that this is what Treyarch have already done with a Berlin yeah, setting. Yeah, that is Sheer true. It's is already pretty finished. impressive enough yeah. just in the campaign level. Oh, and it's but got Treyarch like an underground railroad as well. Assets in zombies maps. Just because yes, if the assets sir, already homie. exist, it saves on development time and also development costs to make entirely Just put water slides in the map. Scratch. It'll Vibes be great. Are just really, really cool. And surely I'm not the only one that sees this surrounding area and thinks that it looks very much like the exact location that samantha is in during the intro cutscene for d machina oh, which also truly. takes place in east berlin and now let's jump That's into the gotta be it. cold war story put a that involves water slide a in there bro please, in berlin. Please now this story put a involves a girl slide. called gertrude bowman who's a caretaker uh. for a secret kgb training site where she witnesses a dimensional breach occur inside the facility. This character was asked to help safeguard a secret training facility that the KGB were constructing next to her farm near Bonsdorf. Now, Bonsdorf is a district in Berlin, Germany, located in the southeast of the city. And on Google Maps, is about a 45-minute drive from the tower, so it's nearby. Too nearby to be just a coincidence. Then one day, True. these grey men arrived in their suits, and she led them through the facility, and that's when it happened there was an otherworldly sound and a flash of light dude and i gotta play public matches on this new hangar, kino map who's standing away from the group having what feared might be her last cigarette but whatever that light was it engulfed the kgb inspectors and heard them scream she ran to assist with injuries but as her vision cleared she could see they were changed they were howled like lost souls and lumbered towards her she barely managed to latch the door with them inside F so what does she do man. now she's still locked within the hangar and she doesn't know who to contact the next day she was visited from KGB agents looking for their inspectors. Obviously, she was still alive to write this message, but only because she knew what to expect and prepared accordingly. And after the KGB delegation were altered or infected, reanimated, she didn't know what happened, she returned home and drove their car to an old lignite mine a few kilometers away. Inspectors arrived the morning before dawn, breaking down her front door and roosting her from her bed. She showed the appropriate amount of fear and confusion when she said the inspectors had failed to report back. She told them that she tore the facility with them, who seemed upset by what they found, and they argued all the way back to her house, some wanting to report to Moscow immediately, others insisting they drive straight to Stasi HQ in Berlin. One thing they did agree on was to have the entire place dusted for prints. She did Dude, not know why they were so agitated, but they were definitely right now, looking bro. for someone to blame. And before they left, they thanked her, saying they might require her testimony in the days to come. All she knew is that she had to come up with a plan and fast. But someone else got wind of all of this and gave her a soft knock at the door about an hour after sunset and it was a woman in her 30s german like gold haired samantha handsome though she wore no wedding ring samantha this lady, woman, is samantha maxis samantha she had to say was that she was here to deal with her little problem and allowed her inside she was aware of what happened to the kgb inspectors and all she would tell gertrude is that she knew of similar G incidents gertrude. taking place elsewhere though they were Yo, kept my homies the hate even gertrude. in the West. True, Samantha told her that she worked for an organization that would eliminate all trace of what happened in the hangar. And all trace of Black Ops 4. A race it. Berlin where a new identity S -s 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 was being prepared for her. She packs one bag and says goodbye to the only home she's ever known. But if others out there are affected by whatever this but more like just the gun curses, she killed Nikolai then she must count me. her blessings and consider herself lucky to have made a new friend. Now, there's got to be a reason why Samantha chose this specific woman, Gertrude, as 
as someone to save and someone that she wants to help. We are absolutely going to see Samantha in a big way in the future DLC maps, but this could be another character that we could be getting used to hearing more about in the coming months when we get Eddie new of War Zombies. He's got to be coming in. of a Berlin map location and Treyarch teasing this Dude. tower, which is right next to Kino. I'm going to be honest. This, if we do get Kino, this will be the first Kino without Richtofen. How they gotta introduce him here, man. That would be kind of sick. That would be oh, kind of sick. It almost guarantees that Kino de Toten is going to be seen in Zombies in the future as a remake. But I'd love to know in the comment section, what do you think of this if it does happen? I'm sure most of you are going to have the same opinion as me, that you are just itching for some actual new original content where there's nothing Dude, reused I, from another But if it's map, a city it's map with transit new, shadows and Kino and they make it new, zombies map it'll be fire. Brovi. Every other it'll map since has just been a remake, but I will give credit to D-Machina, it does not feel like a remake whatsoever. Yes. It feels like a brand new map because Knack feel is like such a, a small part of the overall yes, map sir. that if they were to do the same with Kino, I would not be disappointed at all. In fact, I'll be really, really happy. And the fact that we have this new storyline... I think oh, I think Treyarch is just trying to hit certified banger classics, okay? They're not trying to like make new stuff, which is kind of sad. I really wish they did. I want an underwater one with water slides, bro! Or um, just anything, bro. Like, I want a jungle map. Not like Shangri-La. I mean, like, we're in the trees, homie, and we're grabbing the vines, and we are swinging to the next trees as the zombies. Oh, my gosh. Or, the, like, the, the entirety of the map could literally just be you holding a vine, and you're just... I'm All of you zombies, come on, man. Come We're on still now. going back to some of these old familiar places. Oh my god! It's going to be, be a nostalgia so trip and a half, and I think it's a fantastic idea. Kino de Toten is easily one of the most iconic zombies maps that we have ever seen, and with the idea of really going into the backstory of this abandoned cinema, it could be fantastic with be what good. they could do with the storyline for but it. They put really a water slide in some it, amazing please. Things. But bro, again, it's a not water slide from the top of Kino Pack Punch to the stage, bro. Not yes. even confirmed. It's just just oh. teased heavily oh, by Treyarch, man. and I'm sure we won't really know the answer to if Dude. it is or isn't happening G -G for a good Mr. few Dally, months from now. But if you All enjoyed this video and got you thinking, let a me... A lack of water slides. A major lack of water slides.